Pakistani doctor helps the CIA track down Osama bin Laden. And what does he get for helping us? The Pakistanis gave him a 33-year prison sentence for treason. Some U.S. lawmakers are asking if the Obama administration hung him out to dry and blew his cover. The doctor's family is extremely distressed, demanding the United States step up and protect the now sentenced doctor. They're pleading for the United States to provide legal help and grant his relatives asylum. So should the United States take action? Congressman Alan West joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing, Greta? Very well. There seem to be two issues here. First of all, did we hang this man out to dry? Did the American people well, there, help there's us? No, there's no question about that. We absolutely did hang him out to dry. And I think that one of the phases of the operation, once Osama bin Laden was identified as being the target and having been eliminated, we should have gone to the phase of uh, extracting this doctor and his family out of Pakistan for his own safety. What do we do now, and, and how did, uh, I mean, did we blow his cover that led to his uh, detention and, and ultimate penalty by the Pakistanis? Well, I think the more that we talked about it, we violated one of the basic premises of military operations, that's OPSEC, Operation Security. And I think it kind of shows the amateur nature of this administration and President Obama in talking too much about this operation and enabling the Pakistanis to listen very carefully to uh, some of the words and the verbiage they was using. And they were able to uh, backtrace this and uh, put the pieces together on their side. But then when you look at the Pakistanis, why would they charge this gentleman with treason? Because first and foremost, uh, Osama bin Laden was there illegally. He is not a Pakistani citizen. He's a Saudi citizen. And wouldn't the Pakistanis want to see the number one uh, most wanted terrorist in the world uh, captured and uh, brought to immediate justice? So for them to say that this doctor is guilty of treason means that they are aligning themselves with al-Qaeda and with Osama bin Laden, which uh, violates everything I think that we should stand for if we're going to consider them to be our ally as well as they continue to have the ground lines of communication, the G-locks closed, that enable the supplying of our troops in Afghanistan. Well, I guess that there's also the sort of the aspect of the personal shame, that if someone, you know, helped us and helped us, something that was so profoundly mm -hmm. important to the American people, not just for the security, but for the reason because, you know, after 9-11, sure. I mean, this was really important. So we finally find a doctor, or we find someone inside Pakistan who helps us, helps us, and then the shame that we sort of turn our back and we leave. And, and then the next part is like, why in the world would somebody else help us in the future if this is what we do for yeah, the absolutely. people who do help us? I mean, that's the other problem. You're correct. You have uh, established a very horrible precedent, but it's also the same what we saw with the Green Movement in Iran when we uh, left them hanging out to dry. We saw the exact same thing down in Honduras where uh, the president decided to support a Marxist socialist uh, leader there who was aligning himself with Hugo Chavez. And now we see what is happening here. And that is why I cannot understand why anyone says that this is a very successful president when it comes to foreign policy. We know that the Muslim Brotherhood is running a presidential candidate in a runoff, which is something that they told the Obama administration, that they would not run a presidential candidate. So I don't know if it's naivete or, as I said, it's just amateur hour in the White House, but uh, these have serious national security ramifications. Uh, now, to this family and to this man in prison, if, uh, if you were president tonight or advising President Obama, what, what can we do or should we do right now to help him? Well, I tell you that we must strongly go to the Pakistani government and demand his release. Uh, if we were so adamant about the, uh, the blind dissident over in China, we should be even more adamant about this doctor and his family. Because as this doctor has been uh, taken into custody, uh, tried and convicted of treason, sentenced to 33 years, there's already rumors of him being tortured, and I can guarantee you that his family is living in absolute danger right now. The Senate cut out $33 million in aid um, to Pakistan and as a reaction to this. Um, insignificant or a good start? I think that's a good start. It's much the same as turning an aircraft carrier. You've got to start that motion. But we need to follow it up with even harsher actions. And also, we need to be very upfront with the Pakistanis is that we will not see them as allies if they continue to hold this doctor uh, with the charges of treason, which is absolutely unconscionable. Well, I'm going to take the last word on this. I just, I, I just hate the idea that someone who helped us get Osama bin Laden um, is now sitting in prison 33 years, having been mm -hmm. tortured, and we just sort of uh, uh, look, uh, we didn't take care of him. Congressman, thank he you, won't sir. See those 30, he won't see those 33 years, I guarantee you that. And it's always a pleasure being with you, Greta. Good, and, I, and I'm happy to hear that. I look forward to seeing what happens with him. That's good news. Thank you, sir.